Welcome, in this video you will learn the top 10 tips for Canva and also I added one bonus tip. So let's start. The first tip is to press T on a keyboard. It will automatically create a text. This is really quick and really good because so we don't need to go to text and add a heading. Just press a T and voila, here we go. The second tip is when you have a text, just press Ctrl B and it will, as you can see, it, it will bold. So Ctrl B means bold. And this is like also a pretty cool trick. If you have, let's say, number three, no, let's say I have a sticker here and I have a text here. To group it, just take both of your objects and click group. This is also pretty cool so you can move all of your objects together. You don't need to <clears throat> do it one by one and just press ungroup and voila. So this is also a pretty cool trick. This is number three. Number four, if you don't have it ungrouped and you want to just select all, just press Ctrl and A. And you don't need to group it, just a really quick way. Let's say that I'm going to put this thing here, etc. Ctrl A and everything is grouped together. Now, the next thing I will like is color filters. So when you're going to press on a background that you edit from photos, for example, or from background, you can click on it. And right here, not a lot of people know about it. You have background color and you can change the colors and adjust the colors. That's like, I think that's pretty cool. And let's say that you like, I don't know, this orange one, and you would like to have it as default. So what you're going to do is go to home and then go to brand kit and then brand colors and you add it here. And you can choose whatever color you want. Yes, delete it. So these are the brand colors that everything you're going to start with. It will be in, I don't know, blue color. So it's another really great thing. So the seven is make a copy of your photo. Let's say that you want to edit uh, your 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 photo and your project because you want to just change a small thing. What you're going to do is just you can duplicate the page and try to edit it. That's the first option. Or you want to go with the file and make a copy. And voila, and you can click between it. So this is also really pretty cool trick and I like it. It's like like really good. So Another thing is go to more and this is like number eight probably <laughs> and you have here Pexels and Pixabay. Pexels and Pixabay are wonderful sites with millions of photos and just install them and you can download free photos, free no copyright photos for your project. The next thing what I really like is to Canva color tutorials. When you go to the home And let's find it. What you want to do is to learn. Go down, 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 down. And you love here colors. The first thing is you can color project generator, color palette ideas and color wheel. So you see it here, the easiest place to get colors from your photos. So let's say I'm going to upload the image and I'm going to put it here, this, and it will automatically show me the colors. This is like pretty cool. And then you can use these colors. Color palettes, this is like also pretty cool. Let's say that you want to use Wild Orchid and you see it here, related combinations. This is like really good for learning, for understanding. And then you have like color wheel and this is like really cool. So let's say that you want to have like blue and you see the second color should be should be if you have yellow the second color should be blue so that's pretty pretty cool and i like this I, I i just love this this is the one of the most important things i think so another thing what i'm gonna do is go to the to do to do here and go to 
letter frames. No, let's go to elements. Letter frames. Do 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 do. Yeah, I have it here, and let's write Marcus M. R. Uh, let's just write three here. Okay, and R. Okay. Here I have it. Let's make everything smaller. And what I'm going to do now, you will love it. So I will go to background or photos and I will edit here. And I can add photos to those frames, which is like pretty cool. And I, in Photoshop, it's like really hard, but here it's epic and really easy. So this is like pretty cool. And the next thing, what I really like is gradients. Let's delete those though. And you can use it also. Let's say that I'm going to make it bigger like this. I'm going to click on it and I can change the color of the gradient. This is like also so good and so cool to use. And you see so many of them here. This is like really designing, really cool. So these are the tips I prepared for you. I hope some of them were good. If it was useful, you can support me, subscribe. You know how it goes. I would be really thankful for that. Thank you very much, everybody. Have a great day and see you in the next video. Goodbye.